you sure? Yes, I am. Hey. And we are live. Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Mike. I am, am Accounting for Cycling. Uh, but I am Mike with Accounting for Cycling. I will transition this over. Hello. There's a good background here. Uh, so I am an idiot and updated my main desktop to Windows 11 this morning. So for some reason, I can't seem to get it to recognize this little monitor here. So I've just got this uh, blue screen of no signal. <laughs> so I'm just going to try and get that maybe going. Um, I think it might be a lost cause. Um, if that is the case, yeah, if that's the case, um, hmm, I'm trying to think of how to monitor chat. Je sais pas. Uh, and in that French note, uh, today we will be doing Petit Bouclet on the France map in Zwift. I'm sure I just butchered that, but it sounded cool, so we'll go with it. <clears throat> so, yeah, right as I uh, actually had most of my streaming set up actually like functioning, working, going great, um, I go ahead and I'm like, hey, let's, uh, update to a new operating system. That'll be fun. Everybody loves new new OSs. Um, you may also notice I have a microphone here to talk into. Um, still using my Rode Wireless Go 2. Uh, just <laughs> using my lavalier mic instead of having it kind of dangle here. Um, we'll see how it goes. sure I got everything all set here. I'm going to go ahead and fire up Zwift. Oh, I see screens moving. Yeah. I'm trying for a KOM today. Uh, maybe not a total one, but uh, for myself, maybe. So let's go ahead and see if this actually works. I'm hoping it does. What is that? Just a moment. trying to quit out of anything that is non-essential here um, since so Zwift really does not play nice if you have Garmin Express open uh, so if you have a ton of Garmin devices like I do it doesn't like to connect when that's on there um, it's something with the uh, ant plus pairing stuff so Look at that. It's magic. Turn the controllers on here. And no signal, you say. If it says it's connected, I know I'm wearing it. We might have frozen. I hope not. This may have just become a cautionary tale of changing your equipment before a live stream. Never 
good time. Well, I mean, the stream hasn't crashed. Uh, apparently, just Swift. So, yeah, tons of fun. Awesome. Um, let's wait for it for a minute. Just kind of see what happens. Um, yeah, anyways, I will be right back, though. Snoozy butts. Well, I'm live right now, so. Uh, but Zwift is not playing nice. Okay. I love you. I love you. Dun, dun, dun. Should also be fun to see if uh, the audio actually carried the whole way there. All right, we might just have to restart. Good stuff. Awesome. So that was a really exciting ride. I hope everybody enjoyed that. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of disconnect this since it's not doing anything. are going to transition over to using my Surface Pro. I also realized too that I was just on the full camera and nobody could see my screen. I uh, really didn't miss anything. So just Zwift got the pairing mode, said uh, you have Garmin Express open, it sucks, you suck, something sucks, um, and then crashed after I closed Garmin Express. There we go, and I will pause. No, what? No, that's not the right one. There we go. Cool. Oh, come on. There we go. We've got Cadence controllers. Both, maybe? Nope. We lost the left one. Hopefully it's back. it just punched us with its connection power. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have that much fun with that. All right, let's go to the falls. Ah, do and then top. So we've got 38.3 miles total, 1,584 feet of elevation gain, so three and a half out of five. Uh, estimated 90 plus minutes. I'm guessing more around like two hours, maybe more, maybe less. We'll see. Um, takes in all the roads of the valley in both directions. Lovely. Let's see if I can monitor it live here. Can you snooze? Awesome. I can monitor from here. Well, that is super cool. Let's just pop out that chat. Make it big so I can actually see it. Um, it's not that I'm 
blind or totally blind or anything. It's just that, uh, well, that doesn't work well. So it still wants to show the chat. Activity, no super chat. Of course. I don't even think I have super chat. All right, what is live commentary mode? Oh, everyone can send messages. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what we want to have. Uh, because, I mean, we don't want to run into a situation where somebody wants to comment and they can't. I'm just going to change a couple of power settings here and then we'll get started. And if anybody is viewing right now, it looks like not. Uh, but if anybody views li this later, um, you're happy to be the one to uh, learn the lessons. Ooh, battery saver. No! Our battery we want never. Our battery put my device to sleep never. All right. Uh, connect. So what I'm doing is just connecting my keyboard here to my Surface Pro. This is the Logi or Logitech MX Mechanical, uh, very professional looking keyboard. I have the tactile, but still pretty silent keys. So let's see if that worked. Oh, duh, I would need a mouse. Uh, but it is ready to go. of technology. Allegedly. Truly don't know why I popped that back in there. All right, pop out chat. Let's go back. Let's make it so I can see things. Cool. Cool or gruel? Your choice. Obviously, the most prepared ever of all of the things. So, let's move this up here, get some fancy shoes on. More fancy on the bottom because I've got this really cool oil slick pattern, uh, which also is all scratched up because, well, I mean, most time when you're on a road bike, you walk on the road. And cleat covers can only do so much. When these controllers work, they work excellently. So that's stuck. Uh, basically, you don't even have to have a mouse around for it. But get this over. Woo! Can it though? All right. 
And as for cooling devices today, I have our handy dandy trusty Wuzu globe fan. The ceiling fan, and uh, just in case, super turbo 20 inch steel blade, awesome, crazy power fan, uh, two blower fans. So, you know, we'll be, should be set. Yeah, it looks like we're good here. Yeah, poison. Nothing but a good time going. Sadly, for the purposes of um, copyright, I cannot. Uh, share the music. Right, so let's kind of get this started here. Make sure we're on a kind of reasonable gearing. Still making sure that I think I'm kind of in. So the, uh, here we go, let's get everything situated. So today we are riding in the Goreware Distance 2.0 Plus bib shorts. They are presently, I think they're presently on sale. Um, at least they were yesterday when I checked. Uh, check them out. Uh, if they're on sale like they were yesterday at $140, that's a crazy good price. Uh, they're normally 200 extremely comfortable, um, like if you're going to be riding basically anything over like 40, 50 miles, that's what they're built for, all day in the saddle. Um, I've also used them for a multiple duathlons, uh, Olympic distance and sprint, and then also triathlons. They're comfortable to run in, did not wear them for the swims. Um, it's not quite that small of a pad, but yeah, they're definitely my favorite and not sponsored. Uh, I am a affiliate partner. Ooh, got the cobbles. If you can hear that. It's awesome. Um, so I'm not sponsored by them, uh, but they are an affiliate partner of mine. So if you do use my links down in the description below, I do get a small commission off of that. Searing device disconnected, uh, of course. Um, we're probably not going to use this, or do this uh, Marina Sprint reverse at anything crazy. We just started.
Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite courses, though. It's, I don't know, pretty cool representation of France. And Swift has had it up for three years now, almost four. But it's a good mix of flat, easy tarmac. There's some good hills in it. Um, good change of sceneries, too. So if you just kind of like to tour around. Let's pop this up here. Okay, Ultra HD. Uh, yes, we'll do that. <laughs> okay, everybody, this is Mike with Counting for Cycling. We are live right now, riding through France on Zwift. Uh, check it out, pop in the comments. If you're on Zwift now, join me. Um, yeah, if you haven't uh, subscribed to my YouTube, uh, do that. Much appreciated. So just kind of realized by taking that shot. <laughs> this all looks kind of like a mess. It's just a ton of wires uh, going up to my primary desktop. We've got our router there, our uh, camera system. It's all just kind of wired up there. Plus I have my whole uh, bike workstation there. So it's a little extra goodies. Oh, that's cool. Can I open up, um, open up your playlist on Apple Music. Let's do uh, and do Q. So if you're watching this right now, um, I don't know, let me know where you're from, what the weather's like, you are riding indoor, outdoor.
are you presently on Zwift as well? Yeah, Zwift bomb. You can join me on this or uh, just kind of, that's all happening. Apologize if uh, my terrible singing pops in. Um, I do have music playing right now. <laughs> um, right now it's Nonsense by Sabrina Carpenter. So. I think maybe uh, <clears throat> for one of my future live streams I'll test out, seeing if we can like share the playlist I'm using. Look at that. Um, I tried to tweak my gearing a little bit from last week. So hopefully there's no dropouts, no crazy, won't shift, will it shift. Um, hoping just for a nice smooth shifting ride. Uh, but I did so on my TACX Neo 2T, which is, I mean, really any kind of smart trainer it's kind of notoriously hard to uh, get the pedals moving at a point where you can do like a good gear indexing. So <laughs> we'll see. But try to lose it up a little bit. <clears throat> oh yeah. Charlie the XDX. I'm not even going to try and keep up. <laughs> um, so, if you're new to the channel, um, I don't think anybody's popped in really yet, maybe. I see one like, but I feel like now it's just my mom hitting like and leaving. <laughs> That's case, that's fine. So this isn't totally just water. It's a great noon sport. It's basically water. A little kick of electrolytes. But shortly before this, I had uh, 950 milliliters of uh, EFS Lemon Lime, not EFS Pro, um, which is in this bottle, and it's a sibling at the back of my bike. Um, it's supposed to really help you kind of keep up with the endurance and push harder. Uh, but the 950 milliliter bottle, it had a EFS regular Lemon Lime and pre-raise from first endurance so a little bit of energy and caffeine but also much like last week a little bit stuffy it's like it happens Oops. Just a little bit to kind of, you know, give me a little bit of extra energy, better oxygenation, um, and just kind of regular water, or like taking a monster, or any other kind of pre-race. Um, I am both a First Endurance affiliate, uh, so same thing if you use my links down in the description below. I get a little kicker. Um, if you make a purchase, same thing, uh, it just goes back to help the channel, uh, help fund different things that like, I can pick up, uh, do unboxings and reviews of. Um, 
which like I either need to hire an editor or like take a week off from work and just pump through a bunch of my backlog of footage. <laughs> I've got so much of it on, a, on an external SSD. <laughs> like an embarrassing amount. And like I really enjoy doing the editing part and learning all the like ins and outs of Premiere Pro. But you can probably see the extra dark circles under my eyes. It's been a long week. So, well, a long couple of weeks actually. And you run clothes. Um, of course, now we're coming up on month on clothes, which isn't as bad. But yeah. Just you, know, you get done with long day work like that. Last thing you want to do is sit there and stare at a computer screen. No, it's got to go downstairs, watch 65 inch TV, and watch the Bucks play. <laughs> so, um, basically, I just need to get back into a regular cadence of doing that, putting out an actual long form video. Um, even more shorts too. My analytics show that on top of 98% of my viewers being un or not subscribers, which if that's you, hit subscribe below. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, but it helps grow my channel and helps my content kind of pop up uh, when somebody logs onto YouTube and it's like, I really want to see a fat guy on a bike. There we go. Um, and I know I kind of use that term a little bit more loosely probably than I should. Um, I weighed in at 248 right before this. Um, but definitely got pretty decent gut going on. It's for aerodynamics. When you're outside, you're in a real good tuck position. It's like those, uh, the aero skirts underneath semis. <laughs> Just helps push the air around. But that just helps my content kind of show up more towards the top of searches. Um, when people just are like looking at the home page, whether on their phone or otherwise. Um, this helps connect potential viewers, probably similar to yourself, uh, to my content, my channel. which I'm just kind of always trying to up my game when it comes to editing and uh, different content, different content techniques. Um, uh, haven't totally abandoned my previous unboxing area, which is actually my desk where my keyboard usually is. Uh, so it's got you know, all the like normal desktop nastiness wrist sweat Ugh. Um, and picked up like a uh, basically it's just a nice cutting board that I've hooked up a overhead camera mount to it's a little bit different Also, somebody is watching and starts sounding like a microphone inside of an armpit. Let me know and I'll move it. <laughs> Just seems to keep wanting to go in there. Oh yeah, First Endurance. So I'm a brand affiliate partner of theirs and also a First Endurance Insider. Uh, basically just 
If you use the links in my description, I get a small commission off of it. It doesn't cost you anything extra. Um, they're an amazing company. Um, I use them for my daily vitamins and supplements, for my uh, sports drinks, my pre-workout. I just after a pre-race, um, after harder efforts, I use their Ultra Gen, which is like a, a protein electrolyte super shot to help you recover um, versus previously my uh, post-race recovery method uh, has primarily been like you go somewhere and get a good sandwich and drink some beer. <laughs> so that's a little bit of a better method. But right on. We only got one person. But so Swift play controllers. Um, steering right at your fingertips, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, I actually recently found something that I picked up a while ago that uh, also for steering. It's the Elite Sturzo. Uh, Sturzo Smart, I think it is. Never tried it. It's kind of got lost in a pile of boxes. Luckily, I didn't buy it when it was like 130 bucks. Um, I think even now it's on like a crazy super sale because, um, you yeah, know, it's just so much more competition out there. And it's really kind of a more basic device. Uh, you put your front wheel on this like turntable thing and you actually do turn your handlebars, but it's kind of a awkward, not very realistic motion because you're turning it on a flat surface. Having steering pedals kind of right at your fingertips is nice where no matter what kind of bike you really use or what kind of trainer, you can hook it up. So like the Neo 2T and I think the 3T as well have a five degrees of sway side to side. And then also you can get the rocker plates to give you a much more realistic ride feel so like you can turn then just kind of like use your middle finger to push down on the on the turn paddle and it makes things a lot easier to reach instead of like having to fumble around with a keyboard or a mouse or set up a stream deck mini like i've got you can I figured out what the yellow banner thing over there was too. <laughs> so I've got my primary studio set up with OBS over on my main computer and then YouTube studio for monitoring over here. It was warning me that an ad was running. So um, auto ads do pop up. I believe I had it set for a very conservative amount, just bad revenue trickles in to help fund the channel. I think in um, October of 2022 is when I first got monetized. And I think since then, live stream money, I've maybe made like $4. So like, you know, get close to doing this as a main job. <laughs> I actually just got my 1099 mish from Google as well. And, uh, yeah, I made like 390 bucks last year, so not bad. Um, I think my lifetime's around 400, maybe a little more. Um, it's usually around like 25, 30 dollars a month, so nothing crazy, but pretty much just goes towards paying for any of any of this stuff. Well, actually, seven of it goes to paying for YouTube Premium because I do not like watching ads myself. Uh, but content creators do get a nice kicker from that if you are a premium subscriber and you watch their content. 
I think it's like seven or eight dollars a month, but it's not for everybody. Like, I use YouTube a lot for background noise when I'm working. Might have to extend this a bit. Um, just kind of have background noise and keep my mind going without going completely insane by just using all work um, or even just jam to music. Um, if you are hopping in here, uh, feel free to say hi in the chat. Um, yeah, we'll go for this. I need to see that coming. Up after that one. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So I think it's a uh, featherweight is maybe for sprinting helpful. Yeah, one of these times I gotta just like memorize what those all mean. But there's so many other things. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty. It's one of my favorite courses because it's just, it's really preview. Um, was that lavender maybe? I don't know. Flowers. Oh. Bounce left. <laughs> I should have zoomed that in. But it's gonna be. I just decided to take a break. Coming up the aqueduct. <laughs> I'm done. anticipating there will be burps and farts in this. It's like you know you're putting out a good effort. Oh no. It's not good. Store. That's that fan right over there. Oh, that feels nice. Good 
just start doing what I guess the popular thing with the younger uh, creators is you just like grab your lav mic and like talk into it which to me kind of defeats the whole purpose of it like it's supposed to be an invisible microphone Oh, John bike over there I'm not going to go full gas on this one. Still got a long ways to go. <laughs> Yeah, is it downhill? Yes. <laughs> oh. So, I think my training readiness today was there he is, 65. It's not bad. My sleep history is absolutely atrocious, as is most of my sleep. So, 65 is pretty good. Um, I'd say it's almost near like the cap of what I can actually attain at this time. But yeah, that's why we're that's why we're doing this. Get the body nice and healthy. Should help with sleep. Definitely with recovery. Because sleep is hugely important for that. Got uh, some more recent new videos in the pipeline, and then some some, yeah, <laughs> some, not some some, and some that I need to finish. Uh, notably, biggest one being the Acer Predator Orion, since that test has been gone for like two months now. Um, but. A decent amount, huge on the un unboxing, uh, kind of digging around in the insides of it. I did a live stream, the PC surgery live stream, where my primary desktop died. <laughs> um, I did get that back from warranty. Um, it said it was nothing on my part, just happened to be bad luck, bad timing, where a capacitor died at the same time so um, yeah I sent that off to gigabyte gigabyte fixed it it's gone for like a month um happily back now uh, with that acer predator ryan 5000 i took the i7 13700 out of it put it in my main desktop um, so run that with the RTX 3070. But I need to finish up that video and get it out because it's still a pretty new desktop and it seems to be pretty popular, which I can definitely see why. It's a lot of power for a good price packed in a weird case. So good for like a medium starter computer. Or like a starter computer, but you still want to be kind of hefty Connection failure. What are you talking about? I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> we do not need that kind of technical errors. You see my heart rate dropped out. I did not have a heart attack just then.
but yeah, so I've got the Acer Predator Orion desktop, kind of unboxing, picking around, uh, first impressions. Uh, you got a couple of pictures of how it performed in games. You know, it performed as somebody would kind of assume with a pretty powerful i7 3070 can handle all their games perfectly fine at you know, probably 4K 60, uh, 1440p, around like 130, 150 frames per second in like Grand Theft Auto with everything turned up. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I've got that. I got some new shoes. Uh, Brooks Hyperion Tempo, or not Hyperion Tempo, Hyperion Max uh, bought off their, I mean, it's the Brooks Restart. So they're used, but in like new condition, I couldn't find a single flaw in them. I wouldn't be surprised if nobody ever wore them either. But yeah, save like $60 on them though. So it'd be cool to check out some speed shoes. Um, I've got the first endurance EFS Pro. I did a video on that. Um, I need to finish that one. I don't know, there's all kinds of them. But at the very least one to want to get out of here and live stream weekly. Um, we'll just kind of test out my live stream setup, work out some kinks, things like monitors not being recognized after changing OSs, uh, making sure video comes through, make sure we've got a strong connection, you know, like weird system dropouts. So, Ooh. With jumps at you with a five percenter. <laughs> Stretches and <in> downhills. <laughs> so, so, kind of common theme is. People go harder on themselves when they are doing like a Zwift or any other indoor training ride. Like, oh no, you know, out on the road, I can easily knock out a metric century. Indoors, I can barely make it to like 20 miles. Well, when you think about it, you're in the saddle a lot more. Um, there's no like natural conditions to affect you either positively or negatively. Um, um, you're less prone to just kind of coast or even just stop to catch your breath. Use the bathroom. Um, you can just top off on water, much less have to do that when you're running virtually. Ooh, forgot about that one. <laughs> but it's a little bit harder to see things like hills coming. No tailwinds. Um, but the opposite of that, there's no headwinds. So, but most of it just comes down to like, you're spending a lot of time in the saddle, not getting up as often. You can't like use body momentum to really kind of like sway the bike to get you going. Um, like on some uphills outdoors, like, I'll be kicking my bike side to side like a crazy amount. Um, but also like laying down a ton of power. Um, for indoors, I don't know, just kind of set hammer down. It's 
it's a good way to get your sit bones ready for longer days in the saddle. Um, and it's usually a lot hotter when you're riding inside. It's the same issues of your uh, there's no headwind, no tailwind. Only wind you have is what you create. And that's, uh, for me, a little woozy fan and that blower fan in the door. So, pretty sweaty. refreshing that is my biggest takeaway from the lemon water flavor of the new EFS Pro it is refreshing I'm like I mixed up my bottles right before coming up here so probably around like 10 o'clock it's just still pretty cold because these are yeah they're insulated but like not the greatest insulation um like they're camelback insulated bottles. They work perfectly fine, but it's not gonna keep it insulated like you know, a double wall insulated Yeti or something. But the lemon water, it's just, it's less sugary uh, than a lot of other kind of during ride electrolyte drinks. Um, so you can see that nice cool crisp like a cold glass of water. Let's do it with a little bit of flavor to it. I'll try and do another head to head with the old EFS Pro, which is lemon lime flavor. Uh, but I ran out. <laughs> and I, I don't know, I could probably find it on Amazon, but I like to order direct through, uh, direct through First Endurance. Uh, they do a military and veterans discount, so that applies to you. Check it out. I think they also do a student discount, and if you are like an elite tier athlete, they've got all sorts of stuff for that. So I am not an elite tier athlete. I am a very amateur athlete. <laughs> oh, hey, ad coming up. Forty-four seconds. So if you are watching, I appreciate if you do stick through the ads. Um, gets me like a couple of pennies per live stream, honestly. Um, but it does help a little bit. Um, plus it helps when YouTube goes and, oh yeah, plus it helps when YouTube goes through and tries to identify uh, creators to advertisers. Helps you hop on the top of the list. So. Hopefully it's an applicable ad. See you guys in a little bit. I'll still be here. Uh, skip if you want, but I'll still be here. Ad inserted. <laughs> go Let's see if that works a little bit better this armpit noise more heavy breathing noise I don't know which one's better <laughs> let me know in the comments if you prefer shoulder strap going in the armpits I don't even know if it was making noise or pinned to the chest so
nice little rolling hills here. I know we got a big one coming up though. Um, not like a big, big one. Just like zigzaggy thing up at the top of uh, top right of the map. So, um, I mentioned this earlier, but if you uh, new to the channel, just join something like that. Uh, it's greatly appreciated if you uh, subscribe, like the video, uh, check out some of my other ones too. If you're looking for some background noise, um, if you're looking for accountant stuff, I haven't really posted any um, aside from in shorts. I've got some short videos that are. A little more accountant -y. but it's really hard to get those ones to actually trigger in uh in the algorithm so it's definitely a niche where if you're doing educational stuff you need somebody who actually you know, wants to learn about accounting you know, or accounting gear <laughs> So it's a surprising amount that you can actually get. Uh, but it's mostly like keyboards, mice, screens. Yes, I know. You're back steering devices after previously having dropped out. I probably could have used the uh, featherweight. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> so, the uh, keen observers of you, or those who know, may see the uh, jersey pockets filling up. They haven't quite overstuffed yet, but those are ride-ons that you receive. I don't think it really does anything uh, special, but you know, it makes it look cool, I guess. You know, there's Wifters. Like, oh wow, this guy's got a lot of ride-ons. Also give a lot of ride-ons too. But Still thinking about maybe doing a challenge of we'd have to be on a shorter route probably, but of uh, anything my avatar does, I do. Like he's on the saddle, I'm on the saddle. He's in the saddle, I'm in the saddle. Um, that's another big difference too. Is when you're riding outdoors, your bike kind of moves forward from momentum and gravity. So when you go to sit back down, you basically just slide your body back and the bike comes to you. Inside, you can't do that. Also, if you're popping in the chat here, if you are a football fan, let me know. Who you're rooting for for uh, Chiefs Ravens, and then um, shoot, what am I spacing on it? Oh, 49ers. So we already blocked out last week where the 49ers beat the Packers, um, or uh, 49ers Lions. Personally, I don't know. I can go either way in the Chiefs Ravens. Um, I would love to see Lamar Jackson make a make the Super Bowl though. That guy's talented. <laughs> like, just naturally gifted in all athletic abilities. And then, he's got a really big, like, no quit, but a humble attitude. And I like that. Plus, his teammates seem to just absolutely love him. Um, not that Patrick Mahomes doesn't have that, too, but. Uh, it's just something about Lamar Jackson, that. 
like he's deserving of at least competing in the Super Bowl. Um, and then, like, I want the Lions to win. Yeah. Kind of F the 49ers. <laughs> like I get it. Brock Purdy's Mr. Irrelevant, but... That team is just stacked with talent and ability. I don't know how that guy fell that far. Um, but... I just think it would be really cool if the Lions did win the Super Bowl. Um, because then the Vikings would be the only ones without a Super Bowl win. Even just if they make it the Super Bowl. Like already... With the Lions being in the NFC Championship, like the Vikings haven't been there since '98, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's exciting. Plus, like, if you know some Lions fans, they're always just like, "This is our year," always, even the 0-16 year. That was their year. It was not. Plus, just cool. Dan Campbell was on that team. Like, talk about a chip on your shoulder. Oh. I'm sweating my eye. So, if you're watching, you're curious about what I'm listening to right now. Uh, more Charlie XCX. Speaking of crazy amounts of talent. <laughs> Vento Summit. Oh no. Well, that just means we're heading in that direction, not going up it. Um, I don't think I've ever done this route. I've done the RGV. I've done the, uh, the whatever, France something or another. Um, but like, those had already been done with this lap. This featherweight's gonna help me at all, but I'm sure gonna try it. This thing starting. Probably look right at the top of this. <laughs> it's like I catch you with an uphill and then just here you go. Go sprint. Sucked all the, all the life out. Dude, I know, abnormally high heart rate. Oh, this is a hell of a start.
pimp the small chain ring because I think we're almost there. I'm gonna do featherweight. I don't know if this helps me or not, but. We gotta do it. Oh. It's a fun joke, Swift. It's gonna be like right at the top of this and like, oh, Marina Sprint starts. Surprise. That was the thing. Dance the pedals. Well, I haven't had turned the jumbo fan on yet, so I guess it's kind of a win um, as far as endurance. So got 22 miles left. So that's fun. <laughs> well, I kind of feel or right, in 22 miles and like a thousand feet of elevation left. So <sighs> insert the uh, the Simpsons dude. I'm in trouble. <laughs> like severely overestimating your abilities to keep up and keep speed. But we're going to finish this. Especially now that Prince is on. It's time. To go crazy. Happiness. And now we see the sun. Day. Or night. Oh, you call it that shrink in Beverly Hills. Yeah, you want to tell them all right. All right. Don't say. It's life. You're on your own. Break it down. Go crazy. Oh boy. Really hope I didn't actually accidentally go to the Vento KLM. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Let the ambulance break us 
So, feel free to sing along if you want. I'm trying. Um, not, uh, no fancy myself a very good singer to begin with, much less while riding hills indoors. <sighs> Outdoors, it's a very common sight. I'll just be like belting things out. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> Is at this rate, I've only got y'all for another four hours, so that's a thing. No, it's uh, just keep, keep pushing away. Trying to keep my RPMs up high, heart rate like medium. So I'm sure there's science behind it or something too, but um, at least for me too, a good way to keep pacing is if you can talk, if you can sing, you're at a good comfortable pace. If you're starting to have some issues with that, um, I personally think keep trying because it forces you to breathe and not just gasp for air. So, what's that? Oh, Prince, okay. You got the look. So this is my new workout mix. I'm gonna try and find a way to share this. Um, I don't know. It's a pretty good mix of like newer artists, older artists, um, but usually like pretty good tempo. It's a tempo, baby. Got that look. So, the crucial thing here is uh, <laughs> checking out the rope before you just kind of dive in to commit to it. Um, like, I could easily turn around or whatever, but I'm not. I'm accepted. Stand corrected. Bass is jamming, body's heck is slamming. Look good. Look at your jam. You got the look. Got the look. Look at you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, me all tripped up. Versus girl. One, series of love. Mm-hmm. 
Now, I don't know what song's coming up next, but fair bet is Dua Lipa, more Prince, or more Charmy XCX. <laughs> Get some good tempo beats to go to. So, you got the look as roughly 60 RPMs, as I'm matching my, uh, right down stroke to the drum beat. Ooh, cranberries. Dreams. slow down too much. It's a very important part about keeping your uh, cadence up. If you slow too much in your cadence, Zwift assumes you've stopped pedaling because cadence sensors usually are like sub 30 RPM. They just are like you're not doing anything. <laughs> so, all right. Well, I guess we're not doing Vanto or Mount Vanto. But we are halfway to our uh, elevation goal. So there's more. So also riding outside the one of these would be in my back jersey pocket. So, here we go. <laughs> but, yeah, I usually keep bottle that's either just like uh, strictly water in my back jersey, um, whether it's a big bottle, little bottle, sometimes you just need a little bit of water to like rinse in here. Ooh, almost dropped it. I've got my desk here. So, yeah. coast here. Oh. Highly not recommended to do that if you are riding outside going down a hill at 30 plus miles an hour. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to say, 
stretch the quads, the calves, the hamstrings. See that, or like you bring like a theragun with you. Just boom. <laughs> if I was going even further, I'd probably yell down and be like, "Bring the theragun, please, please." Yeah, it's good and sweaty. Um, so the uh, black base layer was chosen on purpose. Um, it won't directly show nearly as much sweat on camera. I am still very, very much very sweaty. Um, hides the microphone a lot better and shows off the uh, straps on the distance 2.0 plus. So, Add 50 seconds. I'm really hoping that my own singing doesn't get me copyright, like a copyright strike. So that kind of suck. <laughs> I swear I'm not trying to take any royalties away from anybody. Inserted. All right. Well, uh, let's do the bumblebee thing. Is or bumblebee swift thing? It's got like his pockets are overflowing with ride-ons. I feel. I'm gonna have to take these off and not even take them off, rinse them though. I guess that was a reflection, not too grimy.
well, over halfway. Um, still have, I think it's like 850 more feet of elevation. So a little over halfway for uh, climbing. And 17.7 miles left. So if you're new to Swift or thinking about joining Swift, um, kind of like a nice way to start off is certain kilometers. Um, it's some like marginal difference of uh, XP per kilometer uh, is lower than per mile, but when it actually balances out, you end up getting more XP using kilometers and meters than miles and feet. But it's like a tiny amount. So. <laughs> I prefer to use miles and feet because that is what I'm used to. <sighs> Freedom units. <sighs> Why? Why? Really? Well, power meter drop out, I guess. So that's fun. That like never happens when you're going downhill. Always uphill. You're like, yeah, I'm doing great. Putting on a lot of power. I'm gonna, I'm really gonna get this. Ah, RWB. Hello, fellow team RWB. -er. I think I got them in time to get them a ride on back. smart on this because there's some uphill I also want to stay away from the other side of the steering levers or brakes you don't want to actually hit one of those Another time, I'm sure. All right. So, it's funny on how my legs feel after this and what time it is. Ah, 12.35, that's not bad. Or 12.37. But, um, I was contemplating going for a run to do a brick session. Realizing now it's probably stupid. That's what do athletes do. <laughs> like, I, I just finished a run. Let's hop on a bike. Just finished a bike ride. Let's 
uh, let's go for another run. All kind of joking aside, I really, really enjoy duathlon. Uh, the run bike run is absolutely the uh, absolutely the better setup. Swim bike run is fine, but like I'm not a very strong swimmer, especially not in open water. Um, even though I live right next to a massive lake, um, it's really not a lot of places that you can do open water swimming. At least within the city. If you head out towards like uh, Pewaukee Lake has, or uh, Dojo Pewaukee, no, QT part, not the city of Pewaukee, which is just urban sprawl hell, or suburban sprawl hell. Um, <laughs> got some shorts on that one. All right. on a sprint again. Here we go. Sprint across cobbles. And just in time, using that power up. Let's get another one. Oh. Oh. That wasn't too bad. So for a mom myself that I think we turned around. At some point, and now we're going back over the course we already did. So, the uh, there will be more climbing. I just have to remind myself that there's still 15.6 miles left. But as far as riding inside, I do have my window open. Um, I do have my studio lights on too. Uh, GVM LED right there, right there. Just kind of gets rid of some shadows. You know, last thing you want to do when you're doing a longer ride, hard effort, is have like a double chin shadow or something. But they're professional quality very reasonably priced. Um, I think the two key lights, fill lights, um, whatever they are, they're circles, 10 inch circles that are edge lit and diffused. So they put out a nice even coloration of varying shades of light from it's like 2400 up to the like 8,000, 7,000, something like that. Crazy amount. Let's buy one, get one free for 80 bucks. And if you use the code accounting for cycling, you get an extra 10% off your order. So, really cool. Um, and that's also how I got my ring light too, the 18 inch. It's like a dual ring. Um, Works really nice. Um, yeah, I've got another one too that's like a hand rig uh, where you put your camera on it. And then it's two full RGB and full range uh, white lights to really kind of give you a nice fill when you're doing like product unboxings um, or even a little bit straight on. But yeah.
suppose I probably could use the draft here. <sighs> and for those of you keeping track, we've got another Prince song. And DOT Wisconsin license plate renewal notice. If you do pop in, say hi in the chat, leave a little message, ask questions, kind of whatever. Let me know if you uh, did any activity this weekend, have any planned, who your pick is for any of the NFL games today. Again, for those who were listening earlier, or were here earlier, um, my pick, their picks are don't totally care, but prefer Ravens. So Lamar Jackson's a beast. And, like, dude is, like, rightfully deserving of a playoff appearance, or a Super Bowl appearance. And then Lions because I, I can't cheer for the 49ers. And the Packers kryptonite in the playoffs. I don't know why, but it just is. We're kind of hoping Jordan Love would be able to break that curse, but here we are. <laughs> on the outside looking in. <laughs> oh, just kind of on the outside, period. But. Or, uh, what kind of bike do you ride? Do you ride a bike? It's a motorcycle, both, all. Let's see if I can. Do anything at all. That's not. All right, well, you should be able to do a poll. But I can't get it. That's fine. Oh, come on. Maybe. Maybe. Not done.
Okay, we're going back to Fontel. Excellent. Um, yeah. Not that's going to do anything, but. question? Guess not. All right, well, that's fun. Pop in with the q and I guess. Um, who's your pick to go to the Super Bowl? And then, yeah, I'm still saying lines all the way. Feel free to ask other questions too. Um, as I grind here, <laughs> I don't have anybody to draft off of, so this draft perk doesn't totally help a lot. Um, I'm just gonna burn it. Oh, it's arrow boost. That's right, the big truck is drafting. Well, not bad. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you're here, pop in a question, ask something, um, put in your pick for the Super Bowl, or uh, even just a NFC, AFC champion. Um, really, it's just kind of a AMA more than a Q&A. Um, So, another hill coming. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, if you're watching this, what's your uh, favorite kind of bike? Or like, what kind of bike do you ride? Are you riding indoors? Uh, do you ever do competitions? What, what do you do professionally? <laughs> I think mine kind of, my username kind of gets away what I do, but it's mostly one helps pay for the other. I can assure you it's not the cycling paying for the accounting. Sticking with it, we've made it a marathon already. So, check that one off for the year, I guess. <laughs> now I've decided if I'm going to try and uh, train to run a marathon. Um, I have my first half marathon at the end of April, possibly sooner if I sign up for a particular one. Um, doing the Brew City Marathon on or half marathon. I think it's April 24th. Um, like the week prior is the Milwaukee Marathon half, 10K and 5K. And I might do that one, but at a shorter distance. Um, last year, when I ran the Lakefront half marathon, I did it in between two duathlons and then a five mile run. It was very busy. If I remember right, it was a 10K sprint to Ath yeah, sprint to Athlon, half marathon, sprint to Athlon, and then five mile run for the Central Waters uh, Letty Jensen Center River Run. 
and beer fest. Um, yeah, I definitely need some recovery time after all that. <laughs> Because after mid-October, uh, the next event that I did was a 10K, the Vets Day 10K, at the Milwaukee County War Memorial and Veterans Park. And it went fine. <laughs> but it was still very much exhausted. Oh, nice. ACDC. Let's see if you get out of the saddle a bit. So, outdoors, you can just kind of like pick yourself up a little bit, like gravity do its work. Um, indoors, you can only stop pedaling for so long before it'll, I mean, before you gotta start back up and there might be some kind of leg where now you wanna start back up, but the resistance is still kicking us though, you never stop. Get in the head, get in the tuck. Get out of that box. It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. So, my girlfriend calls along with the top ACDC. The uh, bagpipe song. Because <laughs> oh. I mean, oh. it's in there. Right here, actually. Oh, I think I accidentally hit the brakes there. You can see it flash up when I do that. <laughs> it does a really good job. It communicates with the with my smart smart trainer too. So if you hit the brakes, you'll get the feedback as though you are hitting the brakes. So I mean, kind of my final feedback or uh, final take on the Swift Play controllers is I like them a lot. You can, it makes it so you don't have to carry a mouse over with you. Plus, I believe you can get them to work with like uh, Apple TV, but you got to put everything through your phone. I don't know. I don't use Swift on the Apple TV, mostly because I've got a projector, 120 inch screen. Some nice Martin Logan spe tower speakers <laughs> and uh, kind of whole chunk of my office dedicated to to my bike area um, plus like I use a pretty beefy gaming computer which I'm also streaming off of So far, I have not needed to turn on the jumbo fans. Which, um, yeah, also like, Um, anyways, yeah, uh, whether you're watching this live or later, um, if you enjoy this kind of content or if you, uh, you know, please check out the rest of my channel too. It's a lot of kind of unboxings, tech, uh, reviews, bike stuff. Um, I just really want to try and really get into, uh, not really a habit of doing live streams, but 
setting up a, a weekly weekend live stream to do a Zwift ride. Uh, it's just kind of like a good accountability thing where, you know, whether or not people are waiting to watch it or whatever, um, it just makes it so like, yeah, it kind of forced myself to stick to it, get the miles in, um, stay active, especially, you know, January, February in the Midwest and here in Wisconsin, um, or in Wisconsin, the rest of the Midwest, like those months can sometimes seem like years. So it's nice to be able to have a little extra motivation to get moving, get going. Ooh, Marina Sprint coming back. I think this is also the where we turn away from it and go uphill. <laughs> really should should have done a little more recon on this route um, so far look I, I think it's going pretty well um, but yeah back to the swift swift play controllers I mean they're really convenient to be able to operate the whole thing uh, just kind of right at your fingertips um, you can't really type which is fine but like I like to do pictures along the way and uh, it's just really nice being able to click on that instead of fumbling around with the mouse, hoping for the best. So, oh, we are going to get the marina sprint. Oh, yeah, I'm almost entirely certain that we made it to the top of the hill and then uh, basically are doing the same thing but in reverse. So, that's a thing. Again, a little bit of route recon could have helped with that. But it is what it is. We are here now. And my watch is, uh, I think it lost heart rate. Thinks I'm doing like 83 beats per minute. It's not accurate. <laughs> seconds until I'm ahead. Let my mouse near me. Hopefully it's not a long ad. Or this no skip it. Oh, I have a feeling this is going to be an exhausting sprint. that though has like super ADHD kind of stuff going on um, yeah I, I mean I would recommend this with play controllers it's still got a long way to go with connectivity um, and stability on that but the steering integration is great you got these little side buttons um, I don't know what they do I think they're for digital shifting though if you have like the Swift hub which is if you're looking to just get started that is probably your best option for direct drive trainer. All right. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. big truck here that's I believe drafting so DD <sighs> from Canada at a PR knees up yeah Yeah. 
understand and everything all of these mean. Ways to go though. There we go. Hey, there's DD. Who just got a PR? Drafting boost. Yeah. Theoretically, make it easier to do these uphills. <sighs> so, yeah, definitely though, if you're looking to start getting into Zwift, doing some indoor uh, training. Um, Swift play controllers, like they're definitely not a definitely not a necessity. Um, I would for sure go with the Direct Drive Smart Trainer. You can get some wheel-on ones for like, I think even as low as like 200 now. Um, definitely used for round or less than that, um, which are fine, but they shred your wheels because your tire has to be on it at a certain PSI, which is usually like 90 because it's you got to go high PSI, high contact. Um, the Saris wheel on ones, they've got like a, uh, like a clutch, so it won't, or like a torque, uh, setting to it. So clicks into like the perfect amount of pressure every time, which is nice versus, uh, the old way was like you put your wheel tight on there and they give it like one and a half extra turns, which is weird, very scientific. Uh, but wheel on, um, you get a lot of trainer accuracy kind of issues, and they are loud. Um, if you want to see or hear, I have kind of an older video where I was using the uh, Specialized Roubaix Pro tires on them, and uh, on my old Cirrus. I think it was technically the Magneto, uh, but like firmware brought it up to the M2 or something like that. I bought it in 2018. And uh, nice trainer. A little bit of a clearance issue once you get some of the taller tires. Um, which mostly for me just caused them to scrape against the rubber mat that I have down. Um, so that's not ideal. It's extra pressure and resistance. Um, but you also have to do like a 10 minute warm up on it. And then a, um, why am I spacing on it? Um, calibration spin out or spin down, um, which works fine. You have to do that every ride. And a lot of the smart trainer or uh, direct drive smart trainers, they do auto calibrations while you ride to keep it accurate. So, and like the uh, Tapex Neo 2T, which is what I'm on, <laughs> I have to double check after this, but. It's been going on sale for like 800 bucks, including the rocker plates. They're like 900 with the rocker plates or something like that. Um, check the deals because like this trainer is phenomenal. Mimics the road surface you're riding on, gives you excellent resistance, great accuracy. With the rocker plates, you get a little extra slide back and forth for more realism, a little more comfort plus the trainer itself tilts by five degrees each way. <laughs> so whether you want to like just mimic your rider here, and we'll turn in real tight, try not to hit this person. Um, so you can kind of really get into the realism on it. Um, 
I mean, I'm no expert for trainer accuracy or any of that. Um, previously, any time I've tried to test out, it's usually like the Amp Plus connections. Um, and I would use a Zwiftalizer just to kind of make sure that I get a good solid connection uh, wirelessly. That's a huge benefit that the uh, higher end Wahoo kickers get is you can directly connect them into your computer for like no leg, excellent accuracy, um, plus race mode, which I really hope uh, Garmin slash TACX develops and implements into the 2T series because the 3T is definitely an upgrade. It's also $2,000, but gloves are starting to slip but yeah if you can get the 2t for like under a thousand with the rocker plates you can get a amp plus adapter for your computer or run everything through your phone and yeah Ooh. I need to pop my knee so after remember we've still got 500 more feet of climbing but yeah direct drive trainers though they're near silent um the ones that actually have like an external flywheel you get it's not really a safety component unless uh you have to worry about like kids or pets coming around it but um I don't think I've ever heard of anybody having an issue with that, but the uh, 2T and 3T though, they have an internal electromagnetic flywheel with, I think it's 32 or 36 electromagnets. Um, so you get an extremely accurate ride feel uh, plus allows it to do like the bumps so you can actually feel the cobbles feel the planks feel the gravel this gives you a much more like realistic ride if that's what you're looking for you can also turn that off or adjust the intensity of it Um, but yeah, really, the only real noise you get from it is from your drivetrain. So, like, if you keep it nice and clean, it's going to be pretty quiet. Um, even if it gets a little gunked up, it's still pretty quiet. It's mostly then just, like, shifting noise like right there, things like that, which like, once you have electronic digital shifting, again, Swift Hub has that. I'm not sponsored by Swift. Um, uh, it'd be kind of nice to have my Swift membership paid for, but um, yeah, I think the Swift Hub too, the Swift Hub itself. Um, I think it even comes with like 12 months of Swift included, which is a pretty awesome deal. So otherwise it's 15 a month, 150 a year. So depending on how you look at it, you either save 150 or 180 in that bundle. Plus you get a pretty nice trainer. <laughs> That's like perfectly set up as a entry but still pretty good direct drive straight from Zwift. The biggest issue with that is then you have a trainer straight from Zwift. Um, now, I don't know if you, I don't, I'm pretty sure you don't get the electronic uh, digital shifting if you use other apps. Um, 
the trainer itself would probably just show up as like Zwift Hub Smart Trainer um, to get you the speed cadence power. Um, but yeah, locks you in a little bit more to the Zwift platform. Whew. Should have brought another water bottle up. <laughs> um, indoors, I like to keep it like half hour per bottle, give or take. And I left a little bit in that back one. I've got probably this much left here. Scratch that. She's gone. Ha <sighs> But. So the top left shows the three second uh, kind of smoothed out average power. Uh, you can change that so it shows like exact as it's read. But. <laughs> Direct drive trainers also tend to give you no leg. So I'm like a wheel on, or even some of the more entry uh, that hill right there might have like hit halfway up and then released halfway down the hill. So your ability to view what's coming up and how much longer you got is impacted by that. Bam. Oh yeah, we're still gonna go for it. crisp cold water. So this is definitely where we're going to start seeing some fatigue set in two hours in. It's some pretty decent efforts. Most of it's kind of lower wattage, but also <clears throat> longer distance than I've been doing. <laughs> I'd definitely say I've earned myself a beer later. There we go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let's take that arrow boost. <laughs> Doesn't really do much for the hills, but oh, I'll take it. Oh, yeah. That's cool. That's good. Good. It's 
sound is mine. Come to the park and mine. Hey, I'm going to run for a five. I know I'm saying very terribly right now. But. <laughs> I think it's time. All right. Oh. So that's the big fan. Adjust my music just a little bit. A little Motley Crew kickstart my heart. Bed on, bed on, bed on. I don't even know if we're actually going to do that one, but we'll see. It seems about right. 4%, 1.7 miles. we got 300 more feet of elevation, 3.9 miles to go. Oh, that almost sounds more like a, the, uh, the bit before the Blues Brothers take off to the, with the Cook County Assessor's Office. 100 miles from Chicago. Uh, half a tank of gas. Half of smokes. Uh, I gotta watch it again. Oh, my. That's like 100 miles from Chicago. Okay, half a tank of gas. Half of smokes. It's dark. We're wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Just like the most ridiculous uh, Sounds about right. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> I've got a little more work to index these. Kick it ass. 
is to ride. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> this is why music makes such a difference when you're putting out an effort. Raptures get solid steady beat. So it's kickstart my heart, but you can see I went from like 50 beats per minute up to like 70 plus. I'm trying to stick with it too. But like a sneaky 6%. There we go. Nope, we're still going. We're still going. Come on, trainer. I can drop out on another one of these. Oh, I mean, I'm sure a lot of it has to do with, I kind of have my M plus sensor hidden underneath like a metal monitorizer. So it's almost perfectly aimed at the trainer and my smart pedals. Um, to minimize interference and resistance from the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi that's also circling this room. But like, it's still a lot of it, a lot of interference. don't know this is Rihanna or Rihanna only girl in the world <laughs> got a great solid beat I love this song. <laughs> Again, if you are watching, uh, drop something in the chat. Let me know how terrible the signal is. Uh, join along if you want. <laughs> Hoping that my own singing, as terrible as it is, it's not going to copyright strike. Because I was stuck 
Um, let me know how this lavalier mic is doing with the uh, big fan going. Yeah, I think I need like one more water bottle. Chug a chug chug. There goes the last one. Oh. 2.9 miles left. That's exactly how it works out in real life, too. Underestimate the amount of water I need. Oh, yeah. 30 seconds to another ad. Feel free, watch it, skip it. Um, I, don't know, I get a little bit of ad revenue from it, but I mentioned this earlier. I think I've gotten like four bucks since I've been monetized on live. So, Definitely in like your workout mixes though. You want to have some of these like pockets of just crazy good songs. High tempo, high energy. Just a, like, literally pick you up over the hill. Wait. There you, go. you can do it. You can do it.
Yeah, 2.4 miles. Oh. There we go. I don't even think I need to downshift there. songs in this mix. Um, so we've got Katy Perry Teenage Dreams here. <laughs> Hours ago, oh, and yes, it was two hours ago. Excuse me. squirrel on a bike. It's the same squirrel you see from the start screen. Um, or if you're new. It's uh, the, like the guide to help you uh, get started. Alright. Put one, two.
really should have brought another water bottle. <laughs> Oops. Well, lesson learned. Oh, there I am from the past. Let's beat him. Well done. <laughs> oh. Oh. Man. So we're at least going to 40, obviously. Is it 20 to 2? Oh, well. One more rut badge down. And uh, gloves are coated in sweat. I, too, am coated in sweat. It at least looks like we're still getting some voice here, so. Can't imagine that I, uh, Killed my transmitter. We're gonna turn the big fans off. Uh, so they use 219 watts. But, oh wow. If you wanna cool off quick, they've got you. There we go. Yeah, it's a good song. Lady Gaga, Bad Romance. Another one with just an awesome beat. It's a bad romance. start easing off here. Um, really? Okay, maybe not because uh, I mean I gotta I gotta get the the reverse sprint. Uh, like <laughs> yeah, anytime the screen flashes like that, that's just me snapping a picture. Um, just looks cool. Just a really nice immersive world. Um, makes it so you're not just like staring at a blank screen or staring at the things on the bottom are uh, like power levels in different zones. Like the gray, green, blue, yellow, red. Um, and then um, heart rate with it. So. Let's see. I don't even know if I'm going to hit that. I'm sure. Um. start easing out. Um, 
Oh, a good 40 on a on a Sunday. That's pretty good. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'd go a little further if I stopped for water, but if I stop, I'm probably not going to want to come back on. Um, plus, football starts soon. Um, so, woo, 40. Disclosure. Latch. Oh. Yeah. It's like a nice easy spin down here. So, yeah. All right. Well, um. Oh. Now I know. Um, I'm just going to shift down a bit. So, cool thing here is I can steer myself over to the side and then hit the brakes and stop. So, oh, <sighs> yeah, that was a good one. Um, yeah, uh, I see, I don't know, it looks like some people actually like this video, uh, meaning people actually stop by. Um, yeah, if you're still watching or if you watch this later, uh, say something in the uh, comments chat section down below. Uh, really appreciate it. Um, it does help out the channel, uh, especially if you like the videos, it's a huge help. Uh, if you're not subscribed, definitely would appreciate uh, if you hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, check out some of my other videos. Um, I'm trying to make this like Saturday, Sunday live stream thing just like a, you know, a thing. Um, keeps me kind of honest with my workouts and then also uh, should be better prepared for race season coming up. So, um, yeah, as I've been saying, basically in every single one of these in the past, I need to start thinking about doing some uh, brick workouts. Hey, no, I wanted that. Ah, the big phone. Um, yeah, so here we are. Um, let's see. Okay, cool. Uh, it does show that I have audio here. Um, yeah, really cool thing is with the uh, Rode Wireless Go 2, or I think really with any of them, I have this just running into my... Uh, desktop. I think I got it right on there. Um, <laughs> but so I just have this running into my desktop um, as like a microphone in. Um, and of course still wireless, so I don't have to actually have a physical cord. Granted, if you look at this lavalier mic, it's got enough cord where I probably could uh, just run it directly from the computer. Um, my face here has been captured by the um, JLab Epic Cam. Um, yeah, it goes up, it says 2K, 1440p. Um, I like it, it's nice. Uh, I use it for my web, uh, web calls too um, on my personal computer. Um, it works out very well. It does not have a privacy shutter, that's my only kind of gripe about it. Uh, but also, like, I have it on a tripod right now, so I could just point it upwards if I want privacy. Um, you can unplug it. It's always an option. Um, or I just, like, dangle it on one of my, uh, like, clamp the base oops, onto uh, one of my studio lights so it, you know, points up at the screen uh, when it's still plugged in and kind of needs usage. Um, yeah, today's ride was in the... Goreware Distance 2.0 Plus. Um, I'll probably check on Goreware's website. To I think they might still be on sale right now. Um, I have them linked down in the description down below, along with uh, I've been using the Gore. Uh, what are they? The uh, C5 Opti bibs too. Uh, those ones are nice for kind of like shorter distances. Um, it still works out 
very well for really any distances. They've got a lot of stuff on sale right now, uh, kind of like, I think it's a season end clearance, or not a season end clearance, season end sale. Um, so kind of check them out. Uh, if you use the links in, or if you use any of my affiliate links, uh, I do get a small commission off those. They just go right back into, you know, things for the channel. Um, yeah, um, I can actually check that right now. Um, Where distance bib short 2.0. Oops, yes, I will accept those cookies. Um, see that? I'll probably pull it up here after I close out a. That way I can actually have it up further um, and I'll switch over to more of the full me cam. back to a swift yeah oh duh I was on the wrong computer oops that's fun <laughs> so anyways today's ride uh, five second power was oh I still have myself list at 240 um yeah you probably need to update that uh, really the having yourself set lighter doesn't do a whole lot especially if you're heavier it would basically just adjust the watts per kilogram so um yeah i mean it's close enough i am trying to get back to 240 um so you know it's not like some people that'll go like crazy off the wall with their tweaking their weight or weight doping or whatever they call it. Um, so, uh, what, a, what was that? Oh yeah, one minute, 3.30, uh, 20 minutes is kind of the big one. That's similar to kind of like what an FTP would get close to, but I mean, FTP test, you wouldn't be doing over two and a half hours. So 169 watts on that one, and then an average of 150 for the power distribution. So yeah, that's cool. Uh, we will end this ride. Another nice thing with the Zwift Play controllers, is if, especially if you're all sweaty still, uh, you don't have to get your, <laughs> you don't have to get your mouse all nasty. Uh, but yeah, 42.2 or 40.2 miles, 1,269 calories, eight ride-ons, four and a half pieces of pizza coming my way. Um, yeah, so we'll uh, get this saved here yes absolutely we're going to share that to rwb cycling uh team rwb veterans resource organization um they help in, enrich veterans lives uh by promoting physical activity mental wellness uh community um, especially with a community of people who you know notoriously don't just open up and talk about their problems um, so it connects you with a lot of people that have similar backgrounds, similar experiences, um, you know, to really help kind of uh, break a lot of the stigmas out there. Uh, plus, with it being with physical activity, it helps a lot of other positive things, too, of like reducing uh, heart issues, diabetes, um, obesity. Um, it's like these, <laughs> these bibs are doing me a, a favor here. But let me get out of this. I will get the yeah. yeah the play controllers like you can just use it to do everything. It's great. Um, I don't know. They might still be at a hundred bucks. Uh, if they are, definite buy, definite recommend from me. Uh, if they're not, you know, well. There we go. Um, yeah, I think their normal price is 150. Um, yeah, it's, that's still kind of a, I would still buy them. Um, of course, I don't have to worry about that because I uh, got them at the uh, other price. So yeah, anyways, here's the uh, distance 2.0. 140 right now, so 30% off. Um, 
<laughs> need more room. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. Um, but, and so that's in uh, all colors, utility green, black, orbit blue. I'm wearing the orbit blue right now. Uh, super comfortable, um, even on like longer rides. Like, I mean, that was two and a half hours in the saddle indoors. Um, you know, it is extremely comfortable. Um, yeah. So anyways, that's uh, kind of what I, all I had for this ride. Uh, should have another one coming up. I'm going to try and not get hooked on anything here. Um, Woohoo! <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to try and uh, keep this going as like a regular weekly thing. Um, I prefer to do Saturdays because then like you know, most people want to go out and do things on Saturday nights. Uh, so being able to work the exercise in and then still be able to do that kind of stuff is great. Um, otherwise, I mean, I still, yeah, I don't know. Um, but yeah, basically just keep testing this stuff out. Um, over this a little bit here. Um, not quite enough. So these are the Gore Wear Distance 2.0 bibs. You can see they're doing me a real favor with the slimming of the belly. Uh, no pockets on them at all, uh, but also very minimal seams. Um, so very comfortable to wear all day, especially outside, inside, hugely. Um, you know, still, if you're going to go on longer rides, use chamois cream. Um, your, your groin will love it. Um, but so, especially for outdoor rides, these have the uh, Goreware Windstopper Cup. Uh, keeps all your private bits all nice and cozy, especially in heavy winds, uh, to keep the wind chill out and then also keep you comfortable. Um, let's pop that back up here. All right. Um, otherwise, yeah, I will likely be trying to get here later so if you are in the downtown milwaukee area especially if you have a dog riley's social house is like one of one thank you john for that um <laughs> it is super cool um have a mostly custom jersey like that um it's also um, one of my uh, affiliate partners first endurance um they basically fueled this ride today uh, kept me with just kind of that little bit extra to really kind of push the end. Um, yeah, even though I probably still should have had an extra water bottle for a little bit. But yeah, hopefully I see you next week. Uh, leave a like on the video, comment, uh, let me know what you thought. Let me know if you have tried that route before as well. Um, if you speak French, write it in French. Um, I know very minimal French, even though I took it for four years. Um, but... Yeah, uh, otherwise, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out the other videos. Uh, thanks so much for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. And it pains me a little bit to say it, but go Lions. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right, have a great one, everybody. done streaming or am I, I think I'm still going.